Hey guys, it's the one you lost, and we're back here once again with the process video, and today I'll be showing you how I drew this picture of Iris. So, the first thing I did once again was I created a sketch, created a mood board. If you've seen my videos on my other processes, you know that I'm always doing a mood board. I'm always doing some types of uh, sketching, planning everything out beforehand. And in this video, I wanted to do kind of a uh, city skyline meets like an indoor pool like she just got out. That was kind of the whole idea. So getting it right was not too difficult because I, I had a good reference in front of me. In fact, um, it's a new artist I've just I found recently that I really enjoyed their work. They have this wonderful way of doing eyes that I wanted to try my hand out as well. I also don't know why I went for a hat this time, but I thought a hat might look nice. Uh, I don't usually draw those, so I get kind of iffy with whether or not the hat turns out good or not. But I definitely wanted to go for a more mature look on Iris this time rather than uh, my usual cutesy look. I wanted her, her to look way more mature. I also didn't stick with like the flowiness of the hair as much. Originally, I was going to have a um, like just a background with kind of like a pool or something, but I ended up deciding against it. Like I said, going for that more of that city skyline look. If you're enjoying this video, uh, I'd like to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out a whole lot and gets this video shared everywhere. So if you could like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. It means a lot. Thank you. So for the background, I went, uh, once again, photo bashing, which is where you take an image and then you kind of blend it into your, uh, your artwork or your environment. So now we're on to the line art and the hand gave me trouble. I, I usually struggle with hands, um, like a lot of artists do, because they're very tricky. Also, fun thing, if, uh, if you've got a good eye, you might notice this, uh, I messed up on the breasts. So I would like anyone in the comments, if you can figure out what the mistake was, leave a comment. I'll like the first one to get it right. Uh, who am I kidding? I'll like all the comments. But yeah, I went for a lot of accessories, a lot of drapery on the swimsuit and kind of some accessories. Uh, honestly, now thinking about it now, it wouldn't make much sense for, sense for her to wear all this after she went swimming, but you know, rule of cool. Sometimes you just draw things because they look cool and not because they make sense. But I definitely may have over detailed the hair and the, the facial area, but that's also where I wanted people to look. So maybe it makes sense. Maybe it's just the fact that I like drawing hair. I, I couldn't quite figure out what to do with the top of the hair. So I kind of just went with like it's messy on top, kind of coming out of the hat, but um, it's all right. I definitely fixed the uh, eyes since the sketch whenever I went for the final render. It definitely looks a lot better. So I started adding the base colors and I wanted her to have very light skin because I Iris has kind of this light, almost yellowish skin tone to her, which is my favorite type to draw. So that definitely helped with my decision to draw her. I also had to redo the windowsill and make it look a lot better. So now we're getting into the shading and I wanted almost like a spotlight look on her where it's hitting her front on. I also did something I don't usually do where I draw the rib cage or imply it through shading, which is something I don't usually do. I then added some post processing to make it look a bit uh, more how it would look in the final, then started adding some, a multiply layer to get the darker shadows. Uh, if you see that green brush going over, that is the selection pen. And that allows me to kind of isolate areas that I want to work on and not get so much outside the lines. I also started out the original rendering of the glasses and I didn't like them, so I kind of simplified it a bit. With the hair, it was uh, each Nissan shading, which means just one, two, three. It basically just means base tone, shading, then darker shading. 
I st added some of the extra stuff here. I added a wetness, which is something I recently learned how to do correctly, adding kind of a wet look to the character. And I definitely wanted to show it off in the start work because I got it wrong for so many years. But yeah, that's uh, the Iris artwork. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.